Hey guys, what's up? How's I am coming back with another Project Ascension video. This video is for season four. Just logged in. I didn't use my as I am name because I want to wait until I have one of those cards or whatever, but uh looky looky what we got. A little tame beast right off the bat. Thank you very much. I know that it is six points now, so I'm only gonna get one other ability. But um as you know, well, if you couldn't tell from watching my videos, it's one of the easiest leveling specs is to have Tame Beast. So I'm going to go ahead and snag that and hopefully we get, I don't know, something like charge or some kind of attack to go along with it. Um, Frostbolt, there we go. So that is a, that is a good starting build, Tame Beast Frostbolt. I think that these are going to be the only two abilities that I can get. So they moved uh, Tame Beast up to a 6 Ability Essence spell now instead of a 5. Um, just because it is so powerful and I kind of agree with that. Like you should, if you start Tame Beast you should probably only get one other spell. Which is fine as long as that one other spell, you know, is something that you can do damage with and isn't like last season you could end up, you know, whatever with a buff or something like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this started, get my UI settled out, and we will probably see you at, I think at level 10 is when you get to choose your next, your first next ability that is. Also, I need to go to the store and get all my stuff. Anyway, we'll see you then. We're gonna kill a little scorpion buddy here and we should get level 10. Hey, that was super weird. All right, aspect of the hop, gouge or molate? Um, well, if I had auto shot, I'd definitely go aspect of the hawk, but I think we're gonna go full caster, so we'll go immolate. I kind of like the sound that it makes too of the book closing. That's yeah, pretty cool. All right, hopefully the shop will work now and I can get my like book of ascension and feather or whatever the heck that thing's called where you get all the flight paths. That saves so much time. Anyway, this is gonna be a very strong leveling build. I mean, really all you need is frostbolt and tame, tame bees to get to 60. And if I can get a kick and some CC, then we'll be really good in PVP too. Anyway, we'll see you when we get our next ability, which I, I imagine will be 12 unless we hit one of those one ability essence rolls. Anyway, catch you then. All right, maybe level 12. Fade Arcane Missiles Flame Tongue. Hell yeah, brother. It's the first time I've ever got Flame Tongue. Never got it all of season three. God damn, son, this is shaping up. I like it. All right, see you 14. This, uh, this might be 14. If not, I can make a couple band-aids. Never mind. It was 14. Drain Soul, Holy Light, Mark of the Wild. Well, we got to go Holy Light. That is just a good all-in-all -all spell. Even at max rank, it's a 2.5 second cast. So, definitely go there. Mark of the Wild ain't bad either, but. And we don't want anything to do with the drain soul stuff because we end up getting a pet that we can't use or something but all day every day we'll take that and we will see you at 16. okay let's turn this in i was letting everybody use my book there for a minute turn these in get 16. hopefully carry on with these amazing abilities i've been getting a choice of oh, i fucking jinxed myself there didn't i <laughs> uh i mean i guess arcane shots the choice. I already got slow off my frost bolt. Yeah, guess we'll have to go arcane. I know arcane is horrible in game, but you know, that's the best of the three. And it actually does decent damage while you're leveling. Definitely need to get a different bow, but yeah. Got a couple of greens so far. Nothing great for sure, but. 
Um, do I have anything better in my inventory? No. So I need to make another character so I can mail stuff like this stuff to him for when I do a melee character. Gotta start building up that stack, you know? Anyway, we will catch you at 18. All right, this should be 18. Yikes. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess we gotta go slow fall, right? Oh, we got our first one AE. Low fall it is. Whoa. Okay, it gave us two one A's. Conjure water it is. Conjure water is never a bad thing. It's much better than the vendor bot water at end game. Until the end game is just whatever, but at end game it's it's okay. So we knew we knew that was coming at some point, right? But that's not too bad. I mean it's not great, but it's not too bad. All right, we will catch you. I like how it does that though. It gives you two 1A abilities like that instead of like throwing you off where you start doing it on even levels and odd levels back and forth and stuff like that. That's pretty dope. Anyway, we'll catch you at 20. All right, this is probably 20. And now the 5v1 ganking begins. So all everybody's talking about in chat is just getting murdered by five people. Holy fire. That's the first time I've ever seen holy fire. That would be sweet if I could get smite holy fire. A little bit hard to pass up arcane explosion there too, but yeah, we gotta go holy fire, right? We can get a smite holy fire build off the first roll with pet. Oh man. And we can put a lot of points in now that we've been saving. First and foremost, of course. Every build ever. And so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and stick in the frost for now. We also need to pick this up to slow people even more. And then this and this. Anyway, we're gonna, um, oh yeah, we have the mount, still in our bank here, gimme gimme, anyway, we will see you at 22, that's unhappy, now he's happy, alright, later. Alright, this is gonna be 22. This will be 22. Time is money, friend. Oh man. I guess we gotta go divine protection, right? Yeah, we go to find protection here. It's always good to have that 50% damage reduction. Let's say nerf that. Nope, it's still 50%. On a two minute cooldown, not too shabby. And I guess we'll catch you at 24. Or if we get into some PvP, the only PvP I've been in is five people murdered me uh, before I could even get off my mount. <laughs> <laughs> That's about what's going on right now. Four or five man gank squads running around killing everybody. Anyway, we'll see if we can get some 1v1 or at least like 1v2s in. And we'll see then. Looks like we might have our first victim here. Hopefully he's not too strong of a build. Yeah, 
don't think he has any heals. Can I melee him? Oh, he does have a heal. Yikes, they about let him kill me there. I guess he potted. I didn't even think about the pot, but yeah. The power of holy light. That didn't announce anything in chat. Oh, is that only once you become an outlaw that it announces it? That's probably how it works. Oh, we see another one. Another one. I'm almost out of mana though. He gouged me, then hit me out of the gouge. If he's got a kick, he has no kick. But he is melee. He's messing me up pretty good. My pet's just standing here. Oh no, I'm out of mana. Gonna be an auto attack duel off here. Oh, you didn't lose anything anyway. My pet was in passive mode there. find anybody else melee can definitely be a problem for me unless I can frost bolt them at like max range or whatever I was gonna try to do the Burog quest and see if that could bring some people into me since he yells you know I'm summoned Gank squads must have moved down towards the Camp T area or something. Because they were just roaming around anywhere, like people would be out here clicking on the, uh, the mushrooms or whatever. Alright, we'll see if we. Try to summon Virog, people start showing up. I'm actually thinking about just trying. What? He, he summoned right away. That was crazy. I've never seen that happen before. Uh, I was going to say, I was almost saying about like swapping to Iron Man and trying that for a while. At least then it's honorable combat. Because there is some real, real silly uh, gang squads rolling around out here. Let's see if we can find one more person before we go turn these quests in. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's got a kick too. Ooh, that was close. And he's got a healing wave. And sinister strike. There's his kick, so I can just recast my heal. I can put a dot on him too. Ooh, did he give 
it's anything good. That's actually better than what I have. Two agility, three stamina. I'll take that. What else did he drop? I thought he dropped four intellect belt. I'll take that. If I can just stay away from the gank squads, there's gonna be plenty of PvP out here, I, I would think. Oh yeah, I put some uh, more points into stamina here. Take my pet, pet talent. Yeah, I did. Let's see. I can't do any of. I'll probably do these, I guess, while I'm waiting for my. Oh, what we got? Let's see a level 19 boar. Where the person's at. Oh, there's a person. Making sure they're not in my guild. I need to put rank one frostbolt on my bar. I keep forgetting about that. Actually, we'll do that right now while we're running. There we go. Goodbye to that guy. Ooh, a ring. One stamina. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I think this just had like no stats on it. kill some of these uh, storm snouts while my buff falls off or run into more people either way I actually should go turn in these quests before I kill anybody else and extend my buff because I already grayed one out and the other one's green yeah we'll start running towards the turn in for that one It's so weird how all the mobs are aggro. I don't know if the if the GMs did that on purpose. Like even the level one boars in the starting zone are all aggro. Pretty strange. Maybe they just did that to give it flavor. Every mob in the world is aggro. Whoa. Somebody left their unclaimed belongings. Is this a trap? Am I gonna get jumped? Oh, there was nothing in there. Weird. All right, buff fell off, and we're right next to crossroads, so we shouldn't be getting anything anymore. Another unclaimed belongings on the road there, and another one. <laughs> and another, what is going on here? Weird. Uh, anyway, we'll see you at 24. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the episode there before it gets too much more than 20 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed all that PvP at the end there. Uh, this build started out strong. Might, you know, who knows, might end up being something good. But with my luck, I'll end up level 60 with no kick, no CC, no movement, and just need to roll another character. But we'll see. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time. Y'all have a good one.